Well, welcome to the continued series on the web spell checker control. Um, I'm going to show you today how to do something that's uh, a little non-standard. Um, let's take a look at this demo here. Let's say you're building, say, uh, a content management type of administrative area. And, you know, I, I don't have all the controls here, but perhaps you have a, a, a text box here for the title of a uh, content item and then some other controls for the body and everything. And instead of making it so that someone has to click on a button that says, you know, check the spelling on this page, what if you made it to where as someone was editing the document, as they went on to the next controls, the spell check simply happened uh, automatically. So we're hooking into the on blur event in JavaScript. Now I'll show you how to build this and we'll also wrap it up at the end of being able to, uh, you know, not make it that uh, it has to be here on all the time. You can have the option of, of turning on the auto spell check. Uh, but I think this is something that can help build some, some pretty interesting experiences. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, so just so you know where I'm starting from, I have Visual Studio 2008 installed. I'm running against um, .NET 3.5, obviously, and I have Net Advantage 2008 Volume 2 installed on this machine. I'd like to start off by creating a new website, and just a standard ASP.NET website. And I'll just call this one Auto Check. All right, that's easy enough. Now what we're going to do is bring on some controls to the page here. So I'm going to switch over to Design View and the first thing I'd like to do is bring on um, the, the text box so that we have a place to put our title in. And So we're just going to use a regular text box server control over here. Uh, at least for the first part of this is to bring on the web spell checker control which will drop on the page right there and just a few pieces of customization. Okay, so I'm going to drop down into the source and um, show you a couple things here. Now, first of all, we're just going to fill out the text box here. And I'm just going to clean up the markup a little bit so as we're looking at this, it's really easy to see what's going on. So just... Okay. Okay, well, let's make a little room here, and we'll add in a script manager. And change the IDs down here. So we'll change this to WPC Checker. And the text box up here will do TXT Title. Uh, the text. It could be anything, but just to keep consistent with our demo, we'll call it uh, 37 ways to spell CHK a document. I'm going to put the width at 100% so we can see everything really easily. And that's about it. Now, uh, what we need to do is hook into the JavaScript events of this uh, text box in order to, um, in order. Now, what we need to do is hook into the JavaScript events of this text box. So when focus is left from the control, it will run the spell check. So what we can do here is say on blur. So what we can do here is say on blur equals txt title blur and we'll, as an argument for this method we will pass in a reference to this control so uh, it makes life a whole lot easier of being able to, to to get to the contents of the control so now we need to write a little bit of JavaScript and, and I'm gonna paste in some of this code and, and also some style sheets so here I'm going to bring in just the simple style that makes increases the font size so that uh, you know it seems like we're, we're editing a, a title. So the first thing I want to do uh, is create the uh, script section.
and we'll create a stub for the the method, the blur method. Okay, so what we're going to do then is uh, call the the check spelling method from our web spell checker control, and once the the spell check is be done. And once the spell check is done, we need to take the corrected text and set it back uh, equal to the value of our control. So that's not done automatically, so we're going to do that happens as a callback from our method. Now, you'll see how this works. Now, what's nice about the Infragistics uh, client side uh, object model is that if we simply do O and then the ID that we've created on the, the, the server for our control, so O W P C checker, and call the check spelling method. And all we have to do is pass in the control dot value. And at this point, we're passing in the, the controls value, and then the second argument will be a callback method so that once the spell check is done, uh, we can do something with the results. So we're just going to call back a method called on text changed. And come down and implement that. So the on text changed method. What's what's going to be passed into this method is the checked text. So from there we can take the te checked text <laughs> and simply uh, set it equal to the value of our control. So we'll use the the ASP.NET AJAX uh, shortcut get. <clears throat> and to find the ID of the control and to find the ID of the control we'll just simply use um, the the server controls client ID. We'll, we'll allow it to report back to us what, it, what it's going to be. So we'll, we'll create the angle brackets here and say txt title dot client ID so that will emit out the correct ID to JavaScript and so we'll say that controls value is equal to the checked text. All right, let's go ahead and run this and see what we've got so far. Okay, so one last thing that we have to do before we run this is just uh, uh, wire it up to the, the style sheet that we put in here. So we'll say the CSS class for this is title. Okay, let's run this and see what we've got. Okay, so here is our title. If we come in here and edit it and come out, we should get a JavaScript error. Most excellent. All right, so let's just look over and make sure everything is correct. If, yeah, you probably saw this before I did. Uh, this is supposed to be txt. This is supposed to be txt title blur. So let's just switch that and see what we've got. So here's our text box with our title in it. If we come in here and make an edit and then blur it out, uh, we should get our spell check. So there we go. So we just want to add one last piece of functionality to this, and this is basically to give someone the option of whether or not they want to use this. So. Let's close this up and simply what we need to do is add on a uh, HTML uh, and simply add on an HTML checkbox. So let's go ahead and do that. Input type checkbox ID uh, chk autospell. And ID is uh, ID is chk auto check, and uh, so we'll just do that. So to keep our JavaScript clean, I'm just I'm going to wrap uh, access to that control in a function. So we'll do. Uh, function is 
auto check enabled. And from here, all we have to do is simply do a return of uh, get chk auto check dot checked. And then finally, when we come up into our blur method, all we need to do is interrogate that that wrapper method and say if is auto check enabled then run this. If not, then you simply don't have to worry about it. Run it one last time to give it a shot. So since it's unchecked, we should not have any spell checking going on. If we check the box, then we have the auto spell check happened. So I hope this gives you just some uh, a, a glimpse into the different ways that you can use this control and uh, hopefully you'll find uh, a lot of great ways to make managing uh, text for your users a lot easier. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.